And so, God bless you and welcome to the prayer of the call once again. Psalm 5, as it is a, as it is a protocol, amen, always my protocol, praise God. Uh, it says in verse 1, listen to my words, O Lord, give heed to my sighing and to my groaning. Hear the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you do I pray. In the morning you hear my voice, O Lord, in the morning I prepare a prayer, a sacrifice for you, and watch and wait for you to speak to my heart. Hallelujah. So we're just going to um, start off by just um, uh, uh, signing in and, and registering, you know, and letting heaven know that we are alive, we are well. And so we're going to lift up our voices for, for two minutes, amen, and just begin to thank the Lord, amen, for watching over us through the night season. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of life. Let us thank the Lord for provision, for protection. Uh, we want to thank God for His mercies that it, uh, are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. And so for two minutes, please, if you can please unmute the line, just lift up your voices and begin to thank the Lord this morning. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. We In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Amen and amen. And before we uh, proceed to uh, uh, prayer in, and intercession this morning, uh, we are going to go before God and make sure that we clear the pathway. We never, ever assume, amen, that um, the pathway is clear, amen, because uh, assumption, I, I think, is one of the greatest um, uh, shortcomings, amen, of, of the believer. We often just assume, and, and yet we learn through the Word of God that God is very, very precise. God is very, very um, uh, intentional. God is very uh, articulate in what He does. God pays attention to detail. And so we're going to pray this morning, hallelujah, according to First John, amen, chapter, uh, uh, chapter 1 and verse number, um, verse number 3. And it says, uh, first John one, uh, I'm sorry, first John one, verse number eight. And it says, well, I'll, re I'll read from verse seven, but if we really are living and walking in the light as he himself is in the light, we have true unbroken fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanses, removes us from all sin and guilt. 
keeps us cleansed from sin in all its forms and manifestations. Eight, if we say we have no sin, refusing to admit that we are sinners, we delude and lead ourselves astray. And the truth which the gospel presents is not in us, does not dwell in our hearts. Nine, if we, but if we freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sins, he is faithful and just, true to his own nature and promises, and will forgive our sins, our shortcomings, our transgressions, our faults, amen, and dismiss our lawlessness and continuously cleanse us from all unrighteousness, everything not in conformity to his will in purpose, thought, and in action. Amen. And so this morning we are going for one minute to uh, unmute the lines and we're going to, amen, go before the Lord and we're going to confess, amen, uh, in case we uh, sin, amen, knowingly and knowingly, uh, consciously and consciously, whether in thought, whether in word, whether in deed. And we're going to ask for mercy, for clemency, for pardon in the name of Jesus. Because he said that if we do say that if we come before him and we confess, we admit that we have sinned and confess, he is faithful and he is just. Amen. True to his own nature and promises and he will forgive our sins. See, the power uh, uh, behind confession, amen, is that when we confess and go truly, sincerely, authentically before God, is that instantly that sin is forgiven, that transgression is forgiven, that uh, fault is forgiven. And then he begins the process of cleansing us. Amen. So forgiveness of that sin is instant. And then the cleansing of it, amen, is continuous. Amen. Gradual, continuous. He begins now to, uh, to cleanse us, you know, from the, uh, the, the, uh, the repercussions of that fault, that transgression, and that sin. So one minute, please unmute the light. Amen. And just let's go before the Lord and ask for mercy, for clemency, for pardon. Amen. Ask him to search your heart and uproot everything in our lives that does not honor his name in the name of Jesus Christ, that he will create in us a clean heart. Amen. Renew a steadfast spirit within us, that he will not cast us away from his presence or take his Holy Spirit from us, but restore unto us the joy of his salvation and grant us a willing spirit to sustain us in the name of Jesus. Please unmute the line for one minute and let's go before the throne of grace to obtain mercy in this time of need. Father, we just thank you this morning. Lord God. Thank you. that you are slow to anger and you are quick to forgive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We thank you and we receive your forgiveness. We receive your mercy. We receive your clemency in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So today we're going to... Um, we're going to continue from where we left off last week. Praise God. Amen. Um, God is the God uh, that, 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 uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, the Word of God teaches us. Amen. That uh, when, we, uh, when we continue to be uh, persistent. Amen. The Bible says, ask and, 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 and it shall be given. Uh, seek and you shall find. Knock, knock, knock. Amen. Which is the third degree of prayer. 
and the door shall be opened. Amen. And so we are pressing, we are persisting. Amen. We are uh, pursuing. Amen. In in the place of prayer. But uh, uh, from last week, we I began to talk about praise God, the spirit of confusion. Amen. And I'm going to continue from there. And we understood. Amen. That the spirit of confusion uh, means unsettled, undecided, lacking direction or goal, uncommitted to one's present position, and uncertain of one's future status. It also, to be confused, means to be perplexed, to be without direction, to be without design or stability in a state of uncertainty. Confusion also means, like I shared last week, disorder. Amen? Disorder. Amen? That's the key word that we're going to deal with today. Amen? And the opposite of disorderliness. Amen? Disorder. Amen? Result brings a, a result of failure. Amen. For one to behave uh, predict- uh, predictably. Amen. And, and causes one now to begin to just retreat into confusion. Amen. Disorder is a disturbance of the peace or of, or, or of public order, of public order. Amen. And then, uh, disorder also means that when one's life, when one's environment, when one's world, when one's orbit, when one's domain lacks coherence. Amen. Or a sense of direction. And we did also talk about the word chaos. Amen. And so disorder leads to chaos. When things become chaotic, confused, disorderly, and, and, and all of that. But today we're going to talk about, amen, order. Amen. And so when, when God saw that the world was out of order, when he saw that the world was incoherent, when he saw that the world was, uh, uh, without Form. When he saw that there was just no no order, Amen. And God again addressed the issue, Amen. He addressed the issue, and so today we're going to dis- address the issue, Amen. And uh, uh, this is very very uh, way it's weighing on my heart, Amen. Uh, for our nation, especially, Amen. Uh, for our families, for our for um for the state of our nation, Amen. And uh, and especially as we are progressively, Amen. Um, coming to the uh, uh, to the end of the year, amen, but most importantly, it is a very, very, very uh, critical year. It is a, a year, amen, uh, where uh, moments are going to be defined, amen, with the political arena and so on and so forth. Why is it a critical year? It is a, it is a, a, a voting year, amen, and so we are seeing, again, the continual uh, uh, escalating of, of confusion, chaos, this order, but as as sons and daughters of the Most High God, amen, God has not left us without a design, amen, because he's the design that he left us is the design that he used, and that's why we use the design that God used, and what did God do when there was disorder, when there was chaos, when the world was without form, when there was no shape, he spoke order. He spoke order, amen, into the disorder. So today we're going to pray, we're going to decree, we're going to declare order, amen, into the disorder, into the chaos, amen, into everything that is incoherent, I mean, from the political arena, from the government, from the leadership, uh, in the Senate, in the Congress, and it's trickling down, amen, the ripple effect now into our regions, our territories, and then it's affecting our families families, and so on and so forth, amen, and so today we are going to speak, amen, divine order, we're going to speak divine order, amen, into the chaos, into the confusion, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and as I said, we always want to make sure that we have scripture to support of whatever we are doing, and the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1, and verse number 1, I believe, and 2, and it says, and the earth was formless and void and darkness my God, was over the the face or the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the surface, my God. The Spirit of God was moving. The Spirit of God was moving, was hovering over the surface, amen, of the deep, amen. And God, and God began to speak order, amen. He began to speak order, but the Spirit, the key word there, even as I was uh, uh, going through the word again, was, but the Spirit of God was moving. I want you to know that in the midst of the chaos, the disorder, the incoherence, uh, the lack of direction, the 
I mean, everything that is just <laughs> looking like it doesn't even make sense. Amen. The Spirit of God is yet moving. The Spirit of God is yet moving. Amen. And the book of Job, chapter number 10, verse number 22, says, A land of darkness as darkness itself and of the shadow of death without any order, without any order, and where the light is as darkness. Whenever there is disorder, amen, darkness begins to prevail. Darkness there means uh, obscurity. Things are not clear. Things are very unclear. Things are hazy. Amen. There is darkness. There is obscurity. Why? Because of the disorder. Amen. And so uh, 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 we know that it has been said that order is heaven's first law. And since God, amen, created, amen, the, the, the world and so on and so forth, he also, amen, uh, fashioned us. We, amen, were created in his image and after his likeness. And so anytime things are out of order in our world, amen, and nation, in our communities, in our cities, in your families, in your relationships, Amen. You see disorder at your job. You see disorder happening in the church. You see disorder happening among the body of Christ, among sisters and brothers. God has given us, amen, the, 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 the protocol to how to address it. Amen. Anytime we begin to see darkness, we begin to see things obscure in obscurity. We, 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 they're unclear. He has shown us what to do. Amen. And what do we do? We speak the word. Amen. We speak the word into the situation and we begin to command order in the name of Jesus. And so I'm just kind of like, you know, briefly sharing a little bit. Praise God. And I will come back. Praise God and finish it. Praise the Lord. But, but we are going to begin to speak order. Amen. Uh, into everything that is chaotic, everything that is contentious. Amen. With those around us uh, 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 in our lives in our nation, in our community, I mean, uh, in the uh, political arena, the ecclesiastical arena, everything that is out of order socially, economically, everything that is out of order relationally. I mean, these things begin to even affect relationships. They begin to affect families, amen, because it is a ripple effect. It is a ripple effect. And so um, we're going to speak divine order, you know, divine order, not as in, you know, the new age, because, you know, people, you know, uh, the devil is always a counterfeit. He will take God's pure and try to distort it. I'm talking about divine order as in that which proceeds from God. When you speak about divine divinity, they're speaking about God is a divine image. He's, he's a divine, uh, uh, he's a divine uh, person. Amen. And so he, he has given us all things pertaining to life and godliness, amen, that we might become partakers of his divine nature. So God is divine in nature, amen. So so when we talk about divine order, we're speaking the order as in that that proceeds from God, amen, that that proceeds from God, amen, and, 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 um, and, uh, and, and carries the authoritative direction as it was in the, in the book of Genesis. Amen. When God began to speak, he spoke with authority. Amen. And when he began to say, let there be light. Amen. Let me tell you, because he is light, the light that he spoke. Amen. Into, into manifestation. Amen. Had no choice but to manifest. Amen. Often in theological, uh, uh debates, people say, well, where did the light come from? The light was God. God is light. Amen. But he just spoke who he was into the darkness. Amen. And the darkness, amen, dissipated because who he was now began to push back the darkness. Amen. And, and so we are going to begin to speak, amen, and decree order in the name of Jesus. Amen. Divine order, people of God, is divine government. Amen. Which means that God is in control. Divine order is the flow of the spirit as we yield to his guidance and to his direction. Divine government is the word. The word of God is truth. Amen. Active in our lives. And because it is active in our lives, therefore now when we open our mouth and we begin to speak order to the certain uh, chaotic, um, uh, incoherent, amen, things that are out of, out of order, have no direction, have no meaning, have form Homeless, avoid, you know, they're carrying death and darkness. You know, those things are going to adhere to 
uh, that that uh, command that is coming forth. Divine order is living in covenant power, right standing with God. Amen. And so today we are going to pray that, and I want us to do it with understanding, because understanding makes us outstanding. Amen. And so the Bible teaches us in First Corinthians fourteen forty, and it says that let everything be done in a fitting and a proper manner. Amen. That is organized well-planned, respectful, well-mannered, and polite. Amen? That right there is the Greek rendering for the word order. Amen? So what he said, let everything be done decently and in order. Decently and in order, it means that everything should be done in a fitting and proper manner that is organized, well-planned, respectful, well-mannered, and polite. So we are going to pray this morning, praise God. Amen. And uh, I'm going to give us our prayer point. Amen. As we begin to command order, praise God. Um, that Number one, I want you to know that as you begin to command, amen, and, uh, and, and decree and declare divine order, it's literally just you and I trusting God to give us discernment, to lead, to guide, to direct. Amen. Amen. Our words, amen, with authority, amen, and to begin to speak into the darkness, the chaos, amen, and, and the darkness, the chaos, the obscurity will begin to push back in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. So people of God, I'm telling you, it is the word of God in our mouth that is going to bring order, amen, into our land, into our nation, into our political system, amen, uh, um, to our, our leaders, amen, both political leaders, ecclesiastical leaders, amen, it is the word of God that is going to push back, amen, uh, the, the disorder, amen, and bring order, even as God did it, amen, uh, in Genesis 1 and 2, amen, uh, uh I wrote this down. I have to share this with you. Amen. And, and literally what, what, what God did in the book of Genesis, amen, was the picture of this organization and uncertainty and, uh, for the world had no order. Everything was formless. Everything was void. You know, but then when God spoke, let me tell you, then, then everything that was formless and void, amen, now became, uh, uh, um, uh, was uh, came back into alignment, amen, and when it came back into alignment, let me tell you, the void, the emptiness, the death dissipated and disappeared, amen, it had to depart in the name of Jesus Christ, and today as we speak, all of those things are going to depart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, hallelujah, glory to God, so um, uh I want us now to start off by praying, amen, um, uh, that we, we begin to declare the word of God. Remember, it is the word of God, amen, that, that we speak, amen, in prayer. It is the word of God that we decree. It is the word of God that we declare. And when we decree, we declare, amen, we proclaim, we announce, amen, with authority that has been bestowed upon you as a son and a daughter of the most high God. I want you to know, people of God, prayer also called family, that as we face these chaotic situations, both personally as a nation our our charge is to speak order and to speak alignment under the lordship of christ amen even as the lord himself spoke into the void of darkness and brought order so we are called to speak amen his word over the earth to bring light and to bring alignment the word of god says in psalm 33 verse number six amen to nine verse number six and nine amen i'm reading from the niv by the word of god were the heavens made their starry their starry uh, host by the breath of his mouth for he spoke and it came to be my god he spoke and it came to be he commanded and it stood firm and then matthew 28 verse number 18 and 19 and jesus came and spoke to them saying all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth go therefore amen so when we speak the word everything in creation must bow to its original design and purpose everything amen anything that is out of order must now come into his order in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that, that, that uh, applies to everything. Amen. Some of you here, your prayer requests were 
uh, in the area of sickness and disease and all of that. Praise God. But remember, that includes even your physical body. When you speak the word to your physical body, any area in your body that has gone out of order, out of alignment, when you speak the word of healing, amen, that area in your body has got to come back into alignment in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, pertaining even to our relationships, our government, amen, uh, our authority structures in the name of Jesus. So we are going to speak, we're going to pray our first prayer point this morning. Amen. In Psalm 33, verse number six and nine. And it says, by the word of God, where the heavens made their sorry host by the breath of his mouth. We all have breath in our mouth this morning. Praise God. How do I know? Because we are alive. We are breathing. We're in the land of the living. The Bible says in the midst of the chaos, but the spirit of God, the breath, the pneuma, the wind, amen, the ruach of God was moving. Amen. The spirit of God was moving. So your breath is going to move this morning. Amen. And direct your words as you begin to decree order. You begin to declare order to every chaotic, every disorderly thing, everything that is gone out of order, everything that has no direction in our government, in our le- in uh, uh, in our political arena, amen, in the Congress, in the Senate, amen, among our leaders, name the leaders, amen, name the president, the vice president, the governors, amen, the, the senators, uh, the, the, the lawyer, I mean, the, um, the Congress, the congressmen and women, and 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 uh, everyone, Amen. That is responsible, Amen, for making the decisions in our land, especially in this critical time that we are in. In the name of Jesus, begin to speak order, Amen. Begin to speak order. The Bible says, "For He spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm." In the name of Jesus, so begin to speak order in your relationship, Amen. Some of us, Amen. Some of you on this prayer line. And then this whole thing has begun to affect your relationship. It has begun to affect your marriage. It has begun to affect your relationship. And then with your children, with your, with your spouses, with, with your family members. I'm telling you, people of God, it's a ripple effect. So for two minutes, open this line, please. And everybody begin to speak order. The first thing that God did was he Spoke order, amen, in the name of Jesus. Use the language that has been given to us, the language that God used. That language still works today. And begin to speak order in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Bible says, let all things be done decently and in order. In Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you this morning, Lord God.
Kodona Makasanda, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We thank you this morning, Lord God, that every part of creation of God comes into order. Every part of our nation comes into order. Every part of our government, oh God, and our Senate, our Congress, oh God, our leaders, oh God, in the name of Jesus, our authority structures, oh God, they are coming into order, Father, because we are speaking the word of God. As we spoke, Father God, it was as they commanded, oh God, it was established in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. I want you to know, prayer also called family, that as we posture our hearts in total surrender, you know, to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, all of heaven will back us up. I'm telling you, people of God, when we, when we begin to pray according to his will, this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask for anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. That is the first thing, amen, that the scripture teaches us in the first John chapter number five. He says that when we pray according to the will, the will of God, the will of God is key, people of God. And the will of God, amen, is that the kingdom of God will come, that the will of God will be done in the earth realm. A kingdom come that will be done on earth even as it is in heaven. So when we pray according to his will, the one assurance that he gives you and I is that we know, amen, that he hears us. We need God to hear us, people of God. Amen. We need God to hear us. Amen. For the prayers of the, the Bible says the ears of the Lord are inclined to the cry of the righteous. Amen. But we need God to hear. We need God to hear our prayer. And, and if, you, if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have those things that we are petitioning him for. Amen. And so the key, amen, <clears throat> uh, uh, is that we, uh, we posture our hearts in total surrender. Amen. And God will back us up. Amen. Because we are confident when, when we cry according to his will, he hears us and we know that we will have what we are asking for in the name of Jesus. When we go before him, we are not afraid of the powers of darkness that rise up against the kingdom of God, against the people of God, because we come not in our own might, not in our own power, but we come in his authority, this, uh, the authority that has been delegated to us in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. For we war not after, we, though we walk after the flesh, we war not after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare <coughs> are not carnal, they are not fleshly, they are not human, but they are mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, of arguments, reasoning, rationalizing, all of these different things that uh, begin to... Uh, exalt themselves above the knowledge of the truth. Amen. And we bring them into the obedience of Christ. And so we are going to speak God's order and original design into this situation. I'm speaking especially about the situation in our nation. Amen. The situation in our nation, very, very important between now and the end of the year, the last quarter. Amen. Uh, and, um, and I'm not a prophet of doom. Praise God. Uh, you know that. Amen. But again, we, we are not unaware. We're not unaware. We cannot be ignorant. That's what the Bible says. Amen. Lest the devil take advantage of us. Therefore, we cannot be ignorant. We are children of light. And if we are children of light, we cannot, amen, allow darkness, obscurity to overtake us. There are things that, again, we are aware of, amen, just by reason of the fact that we are children of light. And so, again, this last quarter is going to be very turbulent. It's going to be very rocky, but God is going to land this boat. He's going to land this, this, this plane. Amen. He will land it, though it will be turbulent. And so we have to make sure that we are leaning into, we are praying into, amen, even uh, as, the, uh, as we're coming into this last quarter. Amen. And we begin now, amen, to, uh, uh, to uh, advance prayer. Amen. And, and stop. Amen. Bind. Disallow. Amen. Uh, 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 certain things. Amen. That, that uh, the enemy is planning, plotting, but then we forbid it because we've been given the authority. Amen. So because of that, we're going to speak light into the darkness. Amen. In our nature, we're going to order. We're going to speak order into the chaos into the confusion, into the lack of direction that is being passed down, trickling down, amen, uh, uh, to our cities, our communities, our regions, our families, businesses are being affected, children are being affected, school systems are being affected. All of that, people of God, is because of the, the, the disorder. We're going to speak order into the chaos, and, and we're going to speak, amen, the purpose of God into that which is dead and lifeless, amen. 
that which seems to be dead and lifeless, amen, in our world, in our nation, in our community, amen, in our political arena, amen, in our relationship, in every different, amen, uh, sphere of influence. Why? Because God has given us that authority. The Bible says in Romans 4, verse number 17, and it says, the God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as if they were. This is our next prayer point, people of God. Open your mouth and use the word of God and begin to speak, amen, into our nation, amen, and speak into, amen, the fabric of this land. Speak into the governmental system, the governmental structures, amen, and speak light into the darkness, the obscurity, amen, the, the, the chaos, amen, the incoherence that, that is everywhere around us and begin to speak. Speak light in the name of Jesus. Speak order into the chaos. Amen. And speak God's purpose. Amen. To that which is seemingly dead and lifeless in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. On, on, please unmute the light for two minutes and begin to speak. You have the power to declare. You have the power to decree. When God said, he, he, when God said, God saw. When God said, God saw. When God said, God saw. He said, then he saw. You will say first, then you will see. And when he saw, he was able to say, and say, it is good. And we are going to be able to see and what, what we have said, and we will be able to declare, it is good. In the name of Jesus, Christ the Son of the living God. Two minutes, people of God, open your mouth and begin to speak light into the darkness. Speak order into the chaos. Speak purpose into that which is seemingly dead and lifeless in our nature because we are calling for those things that be, that are not as though they are because God is the one that be, gives life to the dead things. In Jesus' name. In Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord. Verse number 40 says, let all things be done 
decently and in order. And let's pray point people of God is that God that, that as we declare amen, and we decree, let all things be done decently and in order concerning amen uh, 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 our nation, concerning our, our land, concerning uh, the decisions that are being made, concerning the government, concerning uh, the Congress, the Senate, decisions that are, are being made, I mean, deliberations that are going on, dialogue, let everything be done decently and in order, because God is not the author of confusion. That's what the Word of God says. Amen. And, and it says, let all things be done decently and in order. And then he says in First Chronicles fifteen thirteen, for because you did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us so that we sought him not after the due order. Anytime things get out of order, people of God, everything now, amen, amen, it's almost like a pack of cards. You know, when the top card begins to fall, then all of the other cards just boot, they just flat out. Amen. But so we're going to pray this morning. Praise God. Amen. Um, uh, that, 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 that God, God amen, uh, will bring order in the name of Jesus in our, in our nation. Amen. That everything that is being done, amen, uh, uh, decisions that are being made are going to be done in order in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the due order, to the just order, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. For he is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in the churches. And so pray, amen, that confusion must go, amen, and order must come, in the name of Jesus, that chaos must go and peace must come, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, in our, in our land, our nation, our communities, our families, our relationships, amen, in our, in our businesses, in our school systems, in, among our, uh, our family members, our sons, our daughters, our children, everybody just confusion. But we are speaking order and peace in the name of Jesus. One minute, please unmute the line and let's pick up this prayer point. Begin to declare the peace of God, the shalom of God. Amen. That it will begin to push back. Amen. The disorder in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father God, we command divine order. Amen. 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 in the political systems of God in the name of the blood of Jesus Christ the son of the living God by our decree of God we set in order in the name of Jesus everything that is out of order and we superimpose order oh God in our nation we superimpose order in our, in our, in our, in our government we superimpose order Lord God in our families oh God our family structures oh God in our school systems oh God in every every uh, area Lord God we declare order right now in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God we call for the spirit of, of, of order we pray for the grace of order we pray for the, for the power and the authority of order Lord God let it be enacted oh God and imposed oh God and initiated oh God from heaven in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ the son of the living God amen and amen hallelujah the bible says in psalm 37 and 23 that the steps of a good man are ordered and they are ordered by the lord and he delighted in his way psalm 119 verse number uh 133 he says order my steps in thy word order my steps in my in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Our next prayer for people of God is that God will begin to order our steps. God will order the steps of our leaders. God will order the steps 
of our president, our vice president, our Congress, our Senate, that God will begin to order the steps, amen, of our, our, um, our spiritual leaders. In the name of Jesus, the fivefold ascension gifts, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers, that God will begin to order the step. God will begin to order the step, amen. Of, uh, um, of of just uh, 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 leaders uh, of homes in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And God orders the step, amen, that iniquity will not have dominion over us. This was the, this is what uh, David prayed. He said, order my steps, dear Lord, in thy word, amen, and let not iniquity have dominion over me. Iniquity is the imagination of evil. And so when David said that, he said, Lord, if my steps are not ordered, iniquity is going to take, is going to take over. And so our next prayer point, please unmute the line and, and begin to pray, amen, that God will order the steps, amen, that God will order your steps. The God who ordered my steps, the steps of your children, your grandchildren, your family members, in the name of Jesus, that iniquity will not have dominion over us as a nation, as a people, as families, as communities, as cities, as regions, in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I need the line one minute, please, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray this morning, Lord God, that... Um, by the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God amen and amen our next prayer point, people of God, amen, is Job 33, verse number 5. And this was God now speaking with Job, amen, Job during his trial, and they were going back and forth. And God now spoke to Job, and he said, if thou can answer me, if you want to talk to me, Job, if you want to dialogue with me, if you want to have a proper conversation with me, amen, paraphrase, amen, set thy words in order. Set thy words in order before me and stand up. This was God speaking to Job. He said, set your words in order. Amen. Set your words in order. And then Job 37, verse number 19 said, teach us. Now Job said, teach us what we shall say unto him, for we cannot order our speech by reason of darkness. Amen. A lot of times speech is being ordered by reason of darkness. Amen. Reason of obscurity. Reason by reason of assumptions and lack of knowledge. And people just talking, just speaking. And so today we're going to pray that God will order our speech. God will order the speech of our leaders. God will order the speech of our, 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 of our, our, our family members. God will order the speech of people, especially that are in authority. Amen. Because words carry power, people of God. Amen. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And they that, 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 that love it will eat the fruit thereof. Words, people of God, are containers. Words carry purpose. God, then, God says that so shall my word be. Amen. That proceeded out of my mouth. It cannot, it will not, it shall not return empty. Amen. But it must accomplish the purpose, the assignment unto which it is, it is said. So words, when they are spoken, they have an assignment. They have a destination. They are sent. Amen. And so we are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. That um, God will uh, uh, set word, uh, the words that are being spoken out there in order. Amen. And that, uh, that, uh, uh, um, uh, that for we cannot order our speech by reason of darkness. That when people begin to talk, when we begin to talk, when our leaders begin to talk, amen, let us not talk by, by, by darkness, by obscurity, by uh, uh, ignorance. My people suffer for lack of knowledge. Amen. But we will speak, amen, 
amen, by information, by revelation, amen, by that which we know, amen, clearly, precisely, concisely, amen, that this is what the Spirit of God is saying or what the Lord wants us to say in the name of Jesus because when God speaks, he brings light. When God speaks, darkness, amen, the light causes the darkness to dissipate. And in Psalm 50, verse number 23, he says, who so offer his praise, glorifies me and to him that orders his conversation aright will i show the salvation of god so our next prayer point amen two minutes on this one amen because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff out there there's a lot of words out there amen but we're going to pray that god will begin to order our speech order the speeches of our family members order the speeches people are angry people are frustrated People are depressed. I mean, one of the prayer points is to pray for uh, uh, First Lady Michelle. I've been praying for her. Amen. For this uh, 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 undercurrent uh, depression and this and that. And when, let me tell you, when people are frustrated and people are angry, people are, 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 are disappointed just a lot. Let me tell you, they don't often, amen, order their speech. Amen. They cannot order their speech by reason of, of enlightenment and, and, and light. They begin to just talk from these dark places. So we're going to pray in the name of Jesus that speech. God will begin to order the speech, amen, the words that are coming out of the mouth of people in the name of Jesus, that there will be words that bring healing and not destruction, that there will be words that bring comfort, amen, that there will be words that bring uh, hope, amen, and, and not dismay, that there will be words, amen, that will create, amen, and not tear down, that there will be words that build and not destroy in the name of Jesus. Let the order of speech, amen, Come into manifestation in Jesus' name. Please open and unmute the light. And let's pick up this prayer line. Remember, we are speaking order into the chaos, into the confusion, in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we are praying this morning, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. And for the little time that we have left, amen, we're going to begin to speak, amen, now into directly, amen, into our, our, into our, into our situation, into our nation, into our cities, into our communities, into our families, into your own personal life, into the lives of your sons, into the lives of your children. In the same way that God spoke, we are going to speak. And what did he say? He used the words, let there be. Let there be. Amen. I want you to decree very strongly in the name of Jesus in these last few minutes that we have. Amen. Let there be. And let me tell you when God said, let there be, let me tell you that let there be of God began to manifest immediately. When he said it, 
he saw it. When he said it, he saw it. And when he saw it, it was good. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, begin to make declarations strongly. Let there be light. Amen. In our nation, let there be light. In our cities, in our communities, let there be light. In my life, in my family, in my relationship, in my children, let there be light. In my business, in my ministry, let there be. Let there be joy. And let there be peace. Let there be divine grace. Let there be mercy. Let there be favor. Let there be love. Let there be speed. In the name of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God, divine speed to accomplish, amen, God's purpose in, in, in our lives, in our nature. Let there be wisdom. Let there be understanding. Let there be knowledge. Let there be, Father God, all the fruit of the Spirit. Let them begin to manifest. Let there be faith, amen, in our lives, in our, in our nation, in our leaders, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Whatever God puts on your heart, begin to declare, let there be in the name of Jesus. And when you say it, you will see it. And when you see it, it will be good in the name of Jesus. Christ, the Son of the living God. Let there be restoration in our nation. Let there be healing. Let there be reconciliation in the name of Jesus. Let there be, oh my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Open your mouth. Two minutes, strong people of God. Your, the power is in your mouth. The authority is in your mouth. Open your mouth and begin to declare, let there be in the name of Jesus. Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we declare that you are God. God. members in the name of Jesus you're the God of abundance 
Hey, let there be abundance of God, an abundance of mercy, an abundance of joy, an abundance of peace, an abundance of prosperity, an abundance of God, oh God, even of, of unity and accord in the name of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God. Let there be, oh God, perfect health and wellness in our lives, oh God, and in the lives of our loved ones. In the name of Jesus, let there be strength, oh God. Let there be safety. Let there be, oh God, divine protection in the name of Jesus, divine provision. In the name of Jesus, let there be, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Makatule Brosekanda, Lekatuya Basata, in the name of Jesus, let there be an eradication, oh God, of, of every plan and every plot of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, concerning our nation, concerning our cities, concerning our communities, concerning our relationships, concerning our family members, our children, our sons, our daughters, our, our, our brothers and our sisters, oh God, let there be, oh God, an, an, an elimination, oh God, a reversal, oh God, of the plan of the enemy, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let there be, oh God, a full Father God manifestation of your power, of your presence, of your love, in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Let there be longevity of life, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You said that with long life you will satisfy us and you will show us your salvation. And therefore, Lord God, as we declare life, oh God, we declare that death is, is broken. The covenant of death is eliminated. The covenant of premature death is eliminated. Untimely death, sudden death is broken off of our lives, off of our cities, off of our communities in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We thank you, Lord God, because we are declaring, we are decreeing, we are announcing, we are proclaiming according to your word. As you said it, Lord, we are saying it and we will see it. And when we see it, it will be good in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let there be revival of souls, oh God. Oh God, even in this time and in this season, let there be salvation of souls, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing, oh God, of diverse sicknesses and diseases and infirmities and afflictions and plagues and epidemics viruses, bacteria, infections. Let there be healing right now in the name of Jesus, by the Son of the living God. Let there be miracles. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in this time and in this season. Show us a token for good that the bones that are broken will rejoice and be glad in the name of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God. I want you to pick up this one right here and declare, amen, open your mouth and say, Lord, let there be fulfillment in my life. Let there be fulfillment in my family. Let there be fulfillment in my children's life, in my, in my, in my arms. Um, in my, in the, in the lives of my, my spouses, in the, in the lives of my, of, of, of my loved ones, let there be fulfillment in the name and of, of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the Living God. Two things that I want you to uh, declare, let there be, uh, let there be fulfillment and let there be stability. Amen. Let there be fulfillment and stability. Amen. Fulfillment and stability. Open the line for one minute and please open your mouth and declare it. Let there be fulfillment and stability in the name of Jesus. Unmute the line for one minute in the name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. Let there be, O oh God, according to Isaiah 33 and verse number 6, and you said, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time and the strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So, Father, let there be 
stability, oh God, stability in our mind, stability in our, in our home, stability among our children, stability, oh God, let wisdom and knowledge be the stability of our, of our, of our, of our time in the name of Jesus, by the Son of the living God. Behold, Father, you said that the valiant one shall cry without the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that the Lord is calling ambassadors of peace in the name of Jesus. Ambassadors of peace that are going to weep, that are going to lament, that are going to cry out. Amen. On behalf of our nation, on behalf of our cities, on behalf of our communities, on behalf of our children, our sons and our daughters, ambassadors of peace in the name of Jesus. According to Isaiah 33, amen, 33, amen, and verse number 7, behold, the valiant ones shall cry without the ambassadors of peace will weep bitterly. The word weeping there means to intercede, amen, to cry, to lament, to entreaty. To, to, to petition, to go before God, amen, on behalf of. And so we declare that we are ambassadors of peace in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I decree, O oh God, as we rise up as ambassadors of peace, O oh God, let peace reign, let peace rule in our land, in our nation, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to do one more. Amen. I know I always go over time. Please forgive me. Hallelujah. Amen. One more. Praise God. And, and I want us to release this. The Bible says in Luke 1 and verse number 8, and it says that it came to pass that while he, while he who is Zacharias, amen, executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course. I want you to know that when you come to the prayer altar call, when you wake up every morning, when you make that sacrifice and, and, and to rise early, amen, to pray, to, to seek the face of God, it is not in vain, amen, because when you do that, you are doing it according to the order, amen. Jesus spoke about early in the morning, he rose up. He's the greatest teacher. He's the one that we model after. He's the one that we, 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 we look to, amen, and, he, and many, many times, Jesus showed us, amen, by example, as he rose early in the morning, amen, to go and pray and, and, and speak to his father. But the Bible says that Zacharias, Luke 1 and 8, and it says, and it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office. Remember, we are kings and priests, amen? As a priest, we minister unto God. So when you rise early in the morning to minister to God in prayer on behalf of your nation, your families, your children, you know, your loved ones, let me tell you, God hears, amen? And God rewards that, amen? The Bible says, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense, Amen. To burn incense in the Bible, amen, always uh, in the New Testament, amen, is always uh, 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 a symbolical prayer. Amen. When he went into the temple of the Lord and the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense, at the time of prayer, and, they, and there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, fear not, Zacharias. And God is saying to us this morning, fear not, amen, for thy prayer is heard. My God, thy prayer has been heard in the name of Jesus. When we, when we do everything according to God's order, God releases angelic presence. Amen. And God wants you to know, amen, that he has released angels. Amen. All over. Angels. Amen. The angels of God, the Bible says, there are thousands upon thousands. And anytime we pray, God releases angels. Anytime you pray, you provoke your angel. And God is saying, as you are uh, continue to sacrifice, you'll continue to come out and pray. You'll continue to seek his face according to the order of your priesthood. God has released angels. And the angels come with a message. The angel that came with a message, Gabriel. And he said, fear not. God has heard your prayer. I want you to know that God has heard your prayers. God not only has he heard your prayers, but he has, he has answered those prayers in the name of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God. I want you to unmute this line, and I want you to begin to lift up your voices and begin to thank God, amen, for answered prayer, for prayer that God has heard and that God has answered. You will see it. 
you will smell it. You will taste it. You will touch it in the name of Jesus. By the son of the living God, by the hand of God, by the authority of the word, by the power of the spirit of the living God. Unmute the life for one minute and lift up your voices and begin to thank God for answered prayer this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God.
not only hears prayer, but he answers prayer in Jesus' name. One minute and give God a shout on this prayer altar call this morning. I feel the anointing of victory. Surround your family, surround your home, 
surround your children in the name of Jesus Christ. May angels be with you as you go out and you come in, amen, on the highways, the byways, the freeways, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, as you travel back and forth and, and, and the airways in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine, to glitter, to, uh, 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 to sparkle upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and grant you peace, shalom, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Somebody saying delayed approval is for me. Amen. I don't know who it is. Amen. Well, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of the Lord has come. Delayed approval is going to be approved. I, I'm telling you, people of God, I'm, 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 I didn't sleep this morning. Amen. I really didn't sleep. I did not sleep. I, I've been awake. I'm actually going to, when I get off this night, I'm going to bed. You know, but I did not sleep. Amen. I've just been in the presence of God. But I'm telling you, delayed approvals. Amen. Financial delayed approvals. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. There are delayed approvals concerning uh, decisions, concerning your job. I'm telling you, people of God, you are going to hear it today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And you will see, you will, you will see, you will hear, and you will know, amen, and consider together that the hand of the Lord has done it in Jesus' name. Thank you. I uh, will see you back here tomorrow, 5 a.m., amen, at the prayer altar call where we gather the altar to be altered, amen, and the Psalm 91 watch. I want to thank those of you that are pressing into that Psalm 91 watch. It is very powerful, amen. We are protesting in prayer. We are pushing. We are pressing, and we will, we will, we will see the victory. I love you dangerously. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Remember, God has heard, and God has answered. In Jesus' name, bye.